Hey buddy, thought I'd do a quick video just showing a few of the things in Title Update 12 as some people seem to be a bit confuzzled about how they work and so on and so forth. Some of these are in creative only, like everything in front of me. And what these are, are masks and headgear and that sort of thing. First thing you may notice is if you take one like that and you remove your headpiece like so, if you press Y on the headpiece, it puts it on. Press Y on the mask and it just moves it to your inventory. Y moves back, Y, Y, why it does that I don't know. So drop it into your head slot and uh, yeah. That's how you wear it. This is the new block. Chiseled stone. Looks very nice. Would be brilliant to build with in my survival world, but you can't have it in survival yet. So, uh, yeah, it's going to just stay on that wall for now. Next thing, uh, we'll do the lamps. Lamps are what they say. They can be turned on and turned off. No more needing pistons to hide things. You can do it many, 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 many different ways. We'll take all that. Get rid of that one. Torches, activate them. You can place them on, beside, whatever you want. And yeah, it's all good. Upside down stairs and half slabs. Something I personally have been waiting a long time for. Because they just make building designs look a lot better. What you have to do is look at the bottom side of a block to place them. Doesn't matter if you're looking up, it won't work. It has to be the bottom of a block. So you just need a block above and then look at the bottom, hit it. You can get rid of the block above once you've laid it. It's not an issue. They will stay upside down but it needs to be the bottom of a block and also probably one of the better things and what I mainly wanted it for was not only the design of the upside down but upside down or right side up you look the way you want it to go and you can get them curving round corners like so and it looks amazing it just you will have noticed that my cave is mainly this sort of deal it just looks so much neater so yeah that is them. Next, I'm gonna have to good uh, Just gonna have to wait a little while till it turns dark, and I'll show you some of the new things with mobs. So I'll catch you as soon as it's night time. So we'll start off with the really fun ones. Iron golems. You basically make a T shape. <coughs> and as with snow golems you can use pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. Quite expensive when you first start out. But uh, not really an issue. And <laughs> They tend to, yeah, really hurt <laughs> zombies and skeletons. <laughs> they're so fun. I just love the way that I end up flying around. But they're brilliant. And the next ones are little putty cats. Generally terrified of you. But if you have fish, raw fish, 
and wait patiently you'll see that change to tame hit it I believe it's up to 10 times it will take to go to tame but when he is he'll just you know do what dogs do basically but they have a unique property of keeping creepers at bay I say that and I've got a feeling I'm going to get battered by one but we shall see uh, let's use a sword why not see if it works yeah just about he really wants to come and get me but my putty cat is keeping me safe at the moment at the moment at the moment sorry kitty I think it's because I aggroed him and was very close. But you saw the basic of it working. So yeah, they're good fun. Oh, let's try it on this random one. Might work. Maybe. Any fast movement at all and they just sprint away from you. Like, absolutely any. Like, if I turn sharply, there you go. So you have to remain very still. And they are found in the new jungle biome only but it can literally be a couple of blocks it doesn't have to be big jungle trees or nothing clever like that and that mask just scared the hell out of me I thought it was a creeper so yeah that's just a few of the new additions and how to put them to good use <laughs> and just for giggles let's uh, let these golems go and have some fun with that zombie, which is what I think they're trying to do. Because I just love how they smack them around. They are brilliant. They're so tough as well. They last for ages. And let's give them a few more. They do actually spawn in the real world. And uh, I believe it's only around villages where the village has more than four... NPCs, they're protectors and they do a damn good job. I haven't actually seen anything attack one yet, so yeah, it's all good. I get attacked plenty, but not them. Right, thanks for watching guys. If you found it useful, please like, comment and or subscribe. Plenty more videos on the way and sadly yet excitingly possibly a big change coming up to my Minecraft really hopefully it'll be good anyway I'll catch you again soon guys and as always you're amazing Sparty and me and that Gollum will see you next time